Joel Gray, you are not just a Jewish treasure, you're a national treasure, and we are so honored to have you with, here tonight. Please join me here in the dais. Thank you. With your kind permission, I'd like to share this award with a man who embodied everything that this, this wonderful evening is about. It was my late father, Mickey Katz, the great Yiddish comedian. In the 50s, my dad made records and uh, on Capitol Records, and they, they sold thousands and thousands and thousands. And they were Yiddish parodies of the hit songs of the 50s. Songs like, herring boats are coming with bagels and locks. <laughs> herring boats are coming, that stinking heimpanach. David, David Crockett, <laughs> king of the land sea street. <laughs> How about, I get me a hame, me the Bible is shame, who the shaps of the ziggalach leifen, I get me a hoise, with gesunde cowboys <laughs> and a couple hundred cattle to verkaufen. <laughs> Everybody sing. Heim. <laughs> Come on in and bring plenty of change. Von Erev zu Beuker spielt man Pinakel und Beuker. <laughs> Dort in mein Heiskeller auf den Range. And he suffered. The record companies and the radio playing hierarchy did not want to play his music. And he never cared what they thought. As a matter of fact, he had a show called The Borscht Capades. not people skating on borscht. <laughs> and I was 16, and uh, I didn't know anything about singing or dancing. I didn't think I could do any of that. But I, I saw everybody was having such a good time. I said, I want to be in the show, but I don't speak Yiddish. So he wrote me a song, and this is how it went. When I was eight days old, they named me Yossel. Oh, what a simcha, such a celebration. Oh, my mishpocha drank a toast l'chaim. While I was suffering a minor operation. <laughs> Later on, I went to kindergarten. I said, teacher, Yossel is my name. She said the name of Yossel. Sounds like a schlomossel. <laughs> From Yossel, my name became Joel Gray. <laughs> anyway, 
Although I got a call about a year and a half ago from the Yiddish theater boat Volkspina down at the Museum of Jewish Heritage asking me if I'd like to direct a production for the first time in the United States of Fiddler on the Roof in Yiddish. I really don't speak the language, unfortunately. And I said, let me think about it. And I thought about it for about seven seconds and said, I have to do this. And I don't know how, but a year and a half or two years later, we're still playing downtown. And we're opening in Sydney, Australia, and Melbourne, and Los Angeles at the Amundsen Theater. So I dedicate this, this wonderful honor and being here with these great folks to my dad and my mom. And as for myself, that goes without saying. Good night. Thank you.